When the strawberry plants made from the controlled crossing have got to the fruiting stage, it is time to collect seeds from the ripe fruit. The carefully labelled plants are removed from the glasshouse where they have been growing, and after checking the cross number label, the fruit is removed and put into a bag marked with the identification numbers of the cross. The bags of fruit are then taken to the fruit preparation lab to have the seeds extracted. A liquidizer is used for this. First, the liquidizer jug is filled with cold water to a predefined mark. The fruit from an individual cross is removed from the bag and dehusked. The fruit is dropped into the liquidizer jug, yep. which is then placed onto the liquidizer, which is turned on for approximately 10 seconds to macerate the fruit. This releases the seeds which drop to the bottom of the jug while the flesh, skin and unviable seeds float to the top. The liquidizer is cleaned down to make sure all of the seeds are in the jug and that none remain stuck to the machine that might contaminate the next seed lot. Fresh water is gently poured in and the liquid is allowed to settle while a disc of filter paper is being labelled with the crossing number. This water and floating debris is then carefully drained off and the jug is repeatedly filled with fresh water until all the debris has been poured off and the water is clear. The seeds can clearly be seen at the bottom of the jug. Each of these seeds is genetically unique and could potentially be a new strawberry variety. The seeds are then washed out of the jug and collected in a sieve. Here they are. They are then turned out onto a labelled disc of filter paper and left to dry for 24 hours. The next day they are carefully poured into a marked bag. These bags are all stored in a cool, dark place until it is time for the next stage of the process. Seed sowing takes place in the glass house. The seeds are carefully removed from the bags and each family is sewn into a seedling tray labelled with the crossing numbers.
The trays are left in a misting area, which keeps them at the optimum temperature and moisture level to ensure rapid and reliable germination. When the seedlings are large enough to handle, they are taken to the potting shed and pricked out into individual pots. These pots are put into crates which again are labelled with a crossing number. The crates are put in the glasshouse and looked after and watered until they are big enough to be put outside and from there they will be planted out. <laughs> 